What's going on guys and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are now returning to Mr. Alby Weeks to go and hand in the quest that we finished in the last video where we uh, absolutely obliterated the uh, that student's time on the, uh, on the course. So we're heading over to Hogsmeade on our broom right now. And thank you all so much for the support as well on uh, the content. These guys seem to be enjoying it, seem to be liking it. You seem to be wanting more. And uh, I'm going to be bringing a lot more games, a lot more videos daily. And like I said, my goal this year is to release a video every single day for you guys. So I want to thank you for the support. Much love to you. Glad you're getting some smiles through these videos. And let's continue this journey right now. So, uh, Mr. Albie Weeks, I wonder if we can uh, just kind of like land up here. Or is it going to force me to land maybe? It might not allow us to fly in in fly in here. Yeah, you can't enter what I wanted. Okay, so we do have to Woof. God, it's just so Sometimes like it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Smooth. Wingardium Leviosa. So this is the broom guy, isn't it? Hello. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Of course. Mr. Wheat. I was able to set a record on my broom. I literally just said that. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. <laughs> I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Did That's it? That's precisely what I needed to know. <laughs> Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Okay. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethy could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Nice. So mm. there was a big patch. The they finally released a pause patch since um, since the release of this game, and it was about time too because oh boy, was it uh, was it needed in some in some seconds? I don't know if it's been released on uh, PlayStation yet. As of recording this, it hasn't. Anyway, um, where am I going here? So we got. So look at our challenges real quick. So we've not got any challenges to check. Uh, talents. We do have some more talents to do, but I'm debating if to keep hold of these because we are limited. So I, I don't want to spend anything at once. And for those that, you know, play these type of games, you don't want to spend everything at once because at the end of the day, you don't want to get to the, you know, the max level and find out you can't go any further because you've spent all your talent points on something super, super weak, you know? So uh, we want to kind of save them and... Wait, because we don't know what spells are going to work. We might find out there might be a nice little combo of spells we like to use. And then in doing so, we might want to go down them specific spell upgrades instead of going down, you know, going for the casting Depulso, for example. Um, so we're going to wait until we get some new spells. And Depulso, speaking of that, we do have that quest available to actually go and learn it. So that might be pretty something we need to go and do because we need to go and get it from if i'm not mistaken the portions teacher um so let's have a look at our gear as well i don't think we've got anything new we've just picked up that clock uh what we've just got here um but we can't do anything with this because we need to take this to the room requirement we've not unlocked that yet uh and did not we've well, hopefully we get a broom upgrade soon we do have five thousand gold so i'm just wondering if there is anything we can actually i've well, got something in there i'll pause here Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Portions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Wait. Has he just said that to me now, or? 
Oh. You're back. Nice to see you again. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. He's just showing me the um some new brooms. Oh, I don't want to prove that item you. is of the highest quality. Okay, cool. All right, let's get out of here. By. Right. To see you again. Let's have a look at our missions here real quick. And see what's available. Actually, do we go to the clothes store and sell up what we don't need? Or Yeah, I think it might be, might be useful, right? Uh, Which way is it? This way, right? This way, then to the right. Wait, is it? Yes. Let's head up here. One thing I've not been using as well is my consumables. The plants and stuff. I want to try and use that in combat. And don't be afraid to fail. I'm all out of the new socks, so I know, and I'm sick and, and tired of you telling me that you are. So, uh, sell that one. It's weaker than the one we got. That's weaker. That's weaker. That's weaker. That's probably weak. It is legendary, but we can't use it because of the... What's it called? But I want to keep hold of these because I want to see how it's going to work within our... Um, our enchantment room, you know? I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by. Yeah, just, you're about. just not your socks. Um, okay, so let's have a look at our quests real quick and see what we've got available to us. So we've got a few side missions here, right? A few side missions. Professor Sharp, acquire and use a focus portion. Acquire maxima and endurance portions and use them simultaneously. Okay. Acquire a maxima and endurance portion. Okay, then follow the butterflies, which is the... A forbidden Forest one. We could go back to the Forbidden Forest. We could do that. I don't mind. We can work the broom. Maybe we can fly around with the bro broom in there. Um, the Dedalian keys. That's a, uh, that's a passive. Speak with Parry Pippin. Appearances in gold. Okay. Parry Pippin of J.B. Pippin's portions in Hogsmeade sent me an owl regarding a delivery. I should speak with him if I'm looking for... Oh, it's Mr. Pippin, not the... The, uh, the what's he called guy? A broom guy. Cost of oil, love. Use the map with floating candles to find the treasure. And summon his court match. Go to summon his court board. Oh, this is the... We might do that today. Let's do that today. Let's quickly go with the demanding delivery, though. Let's go and speak with a portions guy over here in Hogsmeade. See what he has to say. And see what mission he's got for us today. What? Woohoo! But we do want to have a look at making a portion as well, so... Um, what portions do we have? So we do have the Ashwinder thing, right? Focus portion, it's locked. Is that because we don't have it unlocked? Let's have a look at these words real quick. And... Focus portion recipe. Okay, so we need to buy that. A wise oh. decision. Thank you. And was it Maxima? Recipe increases the Dracus spell damage. I think it was Maxima, wasn't it? I hope to see you again. Okay. Well for now. So now we should be able to make some portions. Here we go. So we need Fluxweed stem, Dugbot tongue, and then oh, we can make that. Can we make that here? Can I make that here? Oh my god, there's a chest right there. Hello. Do I have to go to the... I have to go to the portions room, right? To go make portion stuff. Because we don't have our area thing yet. So... Oh, what was it? Quests... And then, uh, Professor, so we need acquire a fox balkan, uh, yeah, and acquire maximum and endurance portion and use them basically together. Okay. So what did we need in the focus portion? A fluxweed stem and a dugbog tongue. Dugbog. Not come across any of these. Have you got you some today? stuff for us? Uh, wait, unless I, yeah. unless I could just quickly get this done and buy them. Can I do that? Decision. Thank you. I hope so. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I 
hope so. So I just need do I just need to consume them back to back? Is that all I need to do? Uh quests. Yeah, acquire and use a focus portion and then acquire maximum and use portion and use them simultaneously. Okay. Let's let's just do this. Let's just use that. Is that it done? Acquire maxima and endurance. Wait. Oh, an endurance. Oh. Wait. I need an endurance portion. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I already had one. Oh, that's kind of, whoa, that's kind of badass. Give me that. Did we, wait, what am I going that way for? Did we do that now? Acquire Maxima and Endurance Portion and use them. Some, right, I've got to use them together, right? Did I not use it back to back? What can I do for you today? Do I need to buy another Maxima portion? A wise decision. Thank you. Right, so I use Maxima portion. Excellent. There we go. Now oh, I got it. That was kind of chunky, doesn't it? Right, you got a quest for me, right, sir? I think you got a quest for me. Hello, Mr. Pippin. Oh. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. <laughs> I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? You mean you take time this to brew? Task off my hands. I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Hmm. <laughs> I'd rather not deal with difficult people, but for a reward, I think I can manage. Indeed. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully, she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. They're always normally talk and everything. And... But when it comes down to doing it... Oh, crap. Okay, so this is quite far away. This is going to require some extensive potion making. Potion making? Broom flying. So let's jump out of here. Here I come. Let's go. Yo, we got far to go. I wonder how close we can get to the water. Oh, this is just... Oh, it actually leaves a trail in the water as well. <laughs> this is too much fun. And because we're close to the the ground as well, you can see in the bottom right hand corner now we actually get unlimited boost. So we can just stay here and just glide all the way along, just using our boost. So we're gonna deliver these three invisibility portions to Fatima Lorang. Lo Loang? Loang. God, this is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure that this island here is a little bit of an Easter egg to Dumbledore's gravesite, right? I don't. I, I could be entirely wrong here. Oh, oh, what was that? Is that a beaver? It's a beaver. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Easy, tiger. That's a good point, to be honest. We're in unknown territory, aren't we? Is that a Viking type of a Viking ship thing?
I just want to take this in. It's like I feel like we're heading to River Rapids over here. More of them. Fli oh, a dug bog. These are dug bogs. What's this guy doing? Well, we found where to get dug bog tongues from. Nice. So now we can use them for our portions. Beauty full. So we know where to get wolf skin fur from. Wait. Oh, this is this guy. His, his, painting and painting. his cart has come back to him. Such darkness can inspire such beauty. So I'm guessing this guy's just going to be... Oh, silver arrow broom designed by the famous broom maker, Leonard Dukes. This broom is perfect for handling the competition. From the picture, it looks pretty interesting, but I can't see a preview of it, which kind of sucks. Um, so he's just basically a wandering shop. So he's just we're just going to see him wandering around and everything. So it's kind of cool. Excuse me. Woohoo! Oh, big old cows. Wait, something locked onto me then. What was that? Oh, it's a dug bog. Levitate a dug bog by its tongue. Wait, what? What's that? What was that? Levitating by his tongue. <laughs> Jesus. He hit hard. Bloody hell, he, he hit hard. Wait, I didn't realize we had to kill five. Oh, I'm saying that, that's a challenge, right? Maybe we should do that. Let's have a look for some more dug bogs. I don't think I want to go up against them in a, if they're in a group, you know? I feel like that's going to be a bit of a, of a nuisance. There's got to be more around here, right? Here's the village. We've not been here before. I'm here, Fatima. How are you doing, darling? Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Jesus. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? 
I know Pippin is always <laughs> trying to cheat his customers. There's a variety of, of accents from the UK here. Quality. Obviously, this is You're Welsh. You're getting a cannot out of me until you prove the potion works. <laughs> Drink it. Drink it. Of course, why not? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. Am I going I on like a so. crazy trip right now or something? Drink an invisibility portion. Hi there. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? <laughs> Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? <laughs> it's a good Not point. A chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't. One of its rug, rug, rugs, rugs, rugs. Yeah, that guy. Have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. You're basically Very serving well. criminals, is what she's saying. I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. Nice. So we've got a few... Is there a flu flame around here? This kid's going to fall over and smack his nose open, isn't it? Flu flame. Nice to see you, my nice to see you darling. Nice what to you see you. Ooh. For me this time? Another one of these. Rebellion. But now the question is, is what do we do with this? I'm a little confused right now. Is it something to do with this? Big ass boulder. <laughs> Sorry, Falabat. I need I need this boulder. Um. Levioso. Expel the armors. Incendium. Uh. Accio. Sorry. I feel like there's another way of doing this. And I don't think it's the way I'm doing it. I don't think. I think I might need Depulso. Because the pulsars are pushing, right? It's a pusher. I think that's what we need. But then the question is, is where do I take this? Rebellion. There must be something I've got to place. What's this? Is this a cloud? It is. Okay, maybe we just leave that one. Hi, guys. My name's Rebellion. Oh, that's a white one. We got the black version of that. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Is the new universal hex really so sinister? Okay, we really need to unlock that. Yeah, I really don't know where this goes. I think I need Depulso. I think I might leave it for now, and hopefully this still will be activated. If not, one of you guys will let me know in the comments, right? Let's have a look around here. Revelio. Yeah, there's the ball. Oh, it's got to go over there. We've got to take... Oh, my God. All right, let's try this again. I think I've got to push it through this gate. 
Let's just try it. Can I get it through this gate? Yeah. I think it's definitely something. <laughs> definitely not that. Hmm. I forgot how to change spells. Oh. This way, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely has to be another spell. Definitely. Oh, silver four-eyed glasses. They're higher rank than the ones we're using. Uh, what's an inventory? What's highlighting here? A book of portion recipes, clearly written by somebody who knows their way around a cauldron. Oh, it could be the half-bloody prince. <laughs> Then we've got the tongs. Okay. Um, so let's go into gear here. And let's have a look at our face. And we can put these on. It's going to give us better defense. So let's equip them. They're definitely some weird glasses. Uh, feel, do you know what? I'm going to go with this. Let's go with that for a little bit. It's not as clippy as what the other things are. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, thanks for the pint. Appreciate it. See you later. <laughs> so have I got to go... I think I'm going to go back to Pippin, right? Let's take a flu flame. Back to back to Pippin. Right, maybe we can find out. Probably no one. Right? There's got to be no one. Wait, there's something in here. What's this... What's this parchment? Oh, 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 oh. Revelio. The Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House due to the odd angle at which it is sit wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. Grab some nuts. Beautiful. These kids just going around on like a tiny, like, dustpan. Like a little small brush. Alright, let's take a flu flame. Why do I I always go to I always go to the flu flame. Thinking I you've got to activate it from there. Well, we come pretty far down, didn't we? We wanna to go to Hogsmeade. And we wanna go to here. So let's travel there. Do a little bit of quick traveling because you don't really, you, you do see a lot of things. I suppose I could have gone for the other bogs, right? I could have fighted two more bogs on the way back if we would have, like, broomed it back. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? All right. What have you got for us, buddy? A young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I've just realized I kind of look like a Death Eater, don't I? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. <laughs> hey, well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this... Fatima's recipe book. You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioners. I shall return it to her immediately. Uh oh, I don't know if I'm in the bad, bad books there. I don't know if there is any form of negative impacts on quest, right? I could be entirely wrong here, but I don't think there is. All right, so. I think we should look at doing a main quest now. 
We did get a new we get we did get new gear, but we can't Oh wait that offense whoa. Actually. They're they're ugly though. I definitely like the ones that we was wearing. Was it these ones? Yeah. And we got two new hearts as well. Yeah, we, we don't need them. Anyway. Oh, challenge complete. Hold, please. Combat. Claim reward. This one looks cool. Defeat ten dark wizards. And we get a dragon hide protector's cloak. That looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, oh yeah, we got these. <laughs> the gear, the chain mail. And get like a policeman's outfit. Field guy pages. I'm working on them ones. Cool, nice. Right, let's move on with our quest here and see what else we got available. So we could go and get the Depulso, 10 portion class during the day. If we was to get that, we could go, possibly go back to that bold and see if we were able to unlock it, which I think we might go and do. <gasps> the Room of Requirement. Ooh. In the Shadow of the Undercroft, required level 8. Confringo. Meet Sebastian. I can probably find Sebastian at his usual spot near the defense against the door. Oh, this is where he wants to do some not so well-known magic, right? So I wonder if he's going to show us the, you know, <laughs> um, but let's make a, let's go to portions class. Let's go and get this and sit, let's see, let's see if we can go and move that boulder with uh different go, different go, he pulls off, he pulls off. Let's make a run for this. I think I'm going to fly there. I fancy flying. A ten portions. Oh, we've got to. Uh, okay, well, we have to skip time once we get there, right? Sometimes it seems all roads. We. I was just trying something there because every time I seem to press the L one key to open up the um the the wheel, he always seems to do a dive. I think it's because I'm pressing circle a little bit too quick, which is to pull out my broom. This is the holy bology area, isn't it? Do I have to la Where can I land here? Can I land on one of these bridges? Just look how easy that was just to get back to school. Can I land here? <laughs> Jesus, I nearly took a kid's head off. Bloody hell. God damn it. <laughs> Peeves, I will cruise your, your ass. Professor Alright, we're definitely gonna have to skip I class here. I think she's waiting for class as well. Hello. Oh, maybe it is still daytime. What's with that kid's eyes? He re he's got eyes like the basilisk. How are your assignments coming along? Uh... I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. It's a purple. Have we come across a purple skill before? You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, Rebellion. should perhaps best not to. Aurora's compromised the Medici's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Aurora badge belongs to Professor Shaw. Also, he is a form of the halls. military I police. A go the enchanted books here. Okay. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Or uh, Akio's purple, isn't it? All right, let's have a, let's let's have a look here. So we can uh, let's have a look at our spells. So we do have this. I'm just wondering what's going to be nice to use to replace it with. We're going to need a levy also. So let's kind of swap it for you. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Okay, so it is a knockback. I don't know if that's going to be useful in a fight. You know? We can make some portions. I guess I could. I, sh I guess I should make some of these. It's going to take 30 seconds. I feel like I'm playing... Uh, what's it called right now? Clash of Clans. And I've got to wait for... Wait for this to go down before I can do it. Would it not be easier just to give me it in real time? Because now we're just going to sit here and watch this go down. So hopefully you're doing good. I guess I could remember to, remember to like, subscribe, but also leave a comment. Even if it's just emoji. <laughs> nice. To be honest, though, we could go to uh, Herbology. We got a couple of plants to pick up there, right? If I'm not mistaken from last lesson we did with her. Okay, I'm thinking about going down to, uh... God damn it. I will think I want to go and take on them. Wait, can I... Oh, I can go out there. Oh, just... Look how easy and fluid that was. Woohoo! Oh, Oh, that's where the uh, thingy is. That chest that we found. Oh, what's this down here? Oh, that's a wall. Eh. What is this? I go up to one of these windows and it's literally just a bathroom. <laughs> it's so satisfying though. How's your guys' experience playing the game? There's a couple of things I would like to see. I would like us to use the common more a little bit more. I would like to, for it to, to be able to uh, sleep in the common room so we can pass on time. And I would like to see, like, in the hall, in the main hall, a points board where we can see our points for the year. And then at the end, we can see the whole campaign and all that kind of stuff. And you get, like, a special robe if we win the year of the, the house points. Because as you know, we, we do do some negative things within the side quests or the quests that go, okay, you know, five points from deducted from Gryffindor. But is there a point in that? Is there a negative impact in that? I don't think there is. I think it would be nice to see that kind of side of the game. And if we do win, or something like that, we do get a special robe or something on the lines of that. That would have been cool. This is an, this is an item. Little bonus. I don't know why we're following the river here, but oh, was that a bog? I don't think it was. What's this though? Oh, it's a thing. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Depulsor. Oh. Alright, what have we got around here? Revelio. I don't see anything. Oh. Okay, incendio this. Incendio. Okay, these could be hidden. Well, that's one of them. Okay, there's another down here in the bush. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defender, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an Incendio. Oh, I've got to do these in a time. Yeah. 
Okay, that's... That's pretty hard. Incendium. What's that? Ooh, okay. So you have to use your broom there. Hmm, unless I did that totally wrong and then you guys are like, bitch, you could have just gone up to it and pressed, um, I don't know, a button. Hence the reason my second name is Spoon. Not an IRL playing game. <laughs> Where was this? Wait, this shop. Oh, this shopkeeper's still here. Okay, he was further down river, wasn't he? But this is where the bogs are. I want two more because there's a challenge to kill two more. And I'm thinking we take them out and see what we get. Where are they? They might just appear randomly. What is that weird sound I keep hearing? Rebellia. All right, Bog. Wait, why did the levy also not work? Turning to Sonic the Hedgehog. Yo, them these guys are pretty tanky. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm guessing these are wolves up here, right? Yeah. Mongrel for... Okay, we need one more a little bog. But now... Is this sure activated? In a little place like this. Oh, I think I've run out of things. What? Or is this still activated? Revelio. I don't think it's... I don't have any of the, the, the things, the flower petal things. Wait, let's see if the Depulsor works on this thing, though. Depulsor. Yep. Okay, the pulse definitely works. I don't think it's going to work right now, though, because... Kids, watch out. Boulder. Kids. Oh, there's a reason these kids are there, aren't they? Excuse me, coming through. Oh my god, what is this, golf? Oh, oh my god, bits, get it in. Oh nice, so it did actually still activate. Okay, good to know. And if you didn't know, you can actually activate them and leave them. Cool. I keep forgetting. Do, when we unlock these, right? We don't it's need like to. A place right out of a story yeah, we don't need to grab anything from these, do we? All right. So I'm thinking we go and have a look. 
uh, thingy. Acquire and use an invisibility potion. Acquire and use the Thunderbrew potion against enemies. And if so, we can actually get the Defindo. But I'm thinking we go and see what Sebastian wants. And we do have an invisibility potion on us, I believe. So let's just kind of... Oh, I don't. And what was the other one? I've, I've got a memory like a goldfish. Use something. Use something against the other one. Well, let's travel back to Hogwarts. And let's head into and see Sebastian. And see what he would like us to do with this little special class, this hidden class away from the teachers to maybe learn some forbidden spells. Mm. Forbidden spells. God, this is so nice. See, I've run out of boost now. And when I'm close to the ground, it doesn't actually go down, which is pretty cool. It would have been nice to come across another bog on the way back, but... Guess not. Oh, there's another Merlin thing I did. Oh, that's the first one I did. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Wait, was that another Merlin trial? Oh, I don't have any mellow sweet. Wait. So how did it activate if I don't have any? Rebellion. Oh god. Where is this gonna go? Oh <laughs> It's gonna go into that hole. Can we get a hole in one? Come on. You can do this. Come on. Oh. No. <laughs> Wait. Damn it. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Oh, I didn't think we was going to... I thought we was going to get that in then. I'm guessing we must... Uh, I wonder what we get for getting all these. They're kind of nice. I'm, I'm going to guess it's something cosmetic, right? Wait, where where is it we need to go to first? Because I don't want to land at somewhere and it's opposite side of the castle, right? So the, the shadow of the... Here we go. So let's track that quest. Uh, and we're going over here. Okay, cool. What's up, kids? I did not mean to do that, sorry. I just wanted to do a quick Revelio. Here we go. See what Sebastian's got for us. Oh. You can't just do that. Using a portion of invisibility? What's that? Sebastian. <laughs> It's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. The Undercroft. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Yeah, that's the funny thing. We've actually come to this before. 
But I thought it might have been like a little puzzle. Do you remember in like episode one or two or something like that? The thing is, though, why would why would there be a clock around the corner like that, hidden away? How did you find this place? Oh God! My friend, ominous gaunt. Ooh. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time, with my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What this... I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, Revelio between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. Huh. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Oh. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway... The Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <Frowns> <laughs> upon using forbidden spells. Give Although me the spell. I enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Oh, Confringo. It take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Nice. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. Wait. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Good oh, nice work. Ooh. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I could have used these on this lantern, couldn't I? Instead of me using the broom earlier. Right? The way that I was doing the bridge and there was then three lanterns. I could have used Confringo on that. Instead of being a spoon and trying to use Incendio. And then getting on the broom to go over there. I feel like I was a bit more animated than what I would do if I stood on the bridge shooting at them. <laughs> I have to say... I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. <laughs> I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Ooh. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. 
I feel she like I should have been in Slytherin. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something oh. to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. It's fine. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't, I don't think I should have done this. Expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Well, when I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. He told me a secret. I might as well give him a secret back, right? It's only fair. Alright, let's leave this. Um, there was another mission we need to do right now. Oh, yeah, the room of requirement. Wait, why can I see my butt cheeks? Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're oh in your fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Oh, God. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Oh, God. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. That kid is kind of freaky. I'm not going to lie to you. Do you agree? He was definitely a little freaky. Saying he's got blood ties to Salazar Slytherin. Could you imagine if he becomes the Basilisk? And all that kind of stuff. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Alright, rumor requirement. We're going to see Professor Weasley. I'm guessing she's in her office. I think we might have to wait till daytime in order to start this mission. Italians and Revelio in uniform. It was brilliant solving those. I suppose one could smuggle I I need the Holo Hamora spell. Bloody hell, how far are we going up here? Jesus. Hogwarts is literally full of stirs. Here 
Here we go. The Room of Requirement. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. <laughs> Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. I actually thought the, th the room was in a minute ago was actually kind of like the room of requirement, right? But it was just a hidden passage. What oh my. This, place? this is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If oh, I wonder if we're going to be able to see I the locker. I to suggest to you how to find it. By walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. There's an Easter egg to but the you film. But to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. You know the, Deke, you know the locker for uh, what Malfoy I went into? In my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. The pulso. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, Ooh. the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chair. We're getting loads of spells thrown at us recently. Vanishing. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Uh, Evan Evanescence. <laughs> Excellent Ooh. work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. We've been collecting a lot of Moonstone. Like a lot of it. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? But she keeps going on about Merlin, doesn't she? What's this? Is that hey, I waited for here for ages. Perhaps we assigned a few more inches of parchment than you. Let me know if you want to try and meet again, Cecilia T. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Jesus. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. To expect you've got a jack in the box in front of your picture, your spoon. Oh. I think I need to pull this out of here, don't I? Wait a minute. There we go. Woo! Did not mean to do that. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Let's be curious. Stop them. No, not uh, that's not helpful. You <laughs> <don't know. laughs> oh, cool.
Oh my god, even this game's got a toilet flushing in it. But satisfactory can't. Oh, pretty. Lanterns. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Can you play anything? What was that? Oh, it's the golden snitch. Was that a golden snitch? It's going Perhaps through. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Did he come into here? Okay, we can't climb over that. Oops. Okay, let's lift that. I don't think we can do anything here. Interesting. What was the point of coming in here can i maybe this was meant to go out here Levioso. um Wait a minute. Akio. Expelliarmus. Akio. Come here. Levioso. Akio. Come here. Can I? I got it. <laughs> All that work for nothing because it wasn't even useful for my gear. So, well, I got it. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Oh, what's this? They've done really well with the whole design thing, right? Oh, there's the elf. Hello? Descendants of Dobby? Yikes, careful. Not descendant. Huh? <laughs> Ancestor of Dobby. Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? <laughs> Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> B 
brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always <gasps> understand the effects yes. of anything in which one is clothed. We have uh, two items on us. Nice, embroidered formal uniform or a tan cloak. The desk. So we got. Yeah, they're not no good for us, but we did get a new. Was it an outfit? Here we go. And it's got a cushion in decreased damage taken from trolls. Oh, and it comes with a, a little. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's equip that. Oh, I kind of like that. And then we've got what else? A new clock. Or is it a hat? No, definitely wasn't a hat. All right, cool. So we've got inventory. Oh, we've got a couple more talents to do. So we still got two talents. So I don't want to spend anything on them just yet. Is there something else here I'm missing? Oh yeah, wand handle. So we've got this bit of a black handle this time. I'll go with that. All right, cool. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. Mm-hmm. He just will. did. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Just did. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, <gasps> it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay. So we've got the conjure. Used items to brew potions. 
So we can place all of these down now. And we've got quite a few moonstones. Portion stations. But yo, these are different ones. So we have to choose what kind of... Oh. Oh, this is cool. Disable snapping. We can place this wherever. Conjure colour. <laughs> nice. We got these hopping pots. Then we got a herbalism desk. So we can plant our seeds and stuff. You can make more of them and everything. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. And the statues and oh, this is so cool. To answer any questions you may have, do not underestimate his insights. I'd like to know more about Deke. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Nice. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Cool, so we got the room of requirement. Now, can I pick this up whilst I'm here? How do I edit this? I would like to... Wait, no, I've got, I've got to... I've got to do that. Right, and then I bring this up, and then I go into put. Hi, Deke. And then I can bring this in here. So there is like a little colliding thing. And we can just do, and I can place this freely. Where I oh, this is so nice! I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. Ooh. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I will. Thank you very much. Got all these. We've got pi pictures to put down. We got like candlesticks and trophies and, and, and things. <laughs> and change the color of these two. 
<laughs> and it actually gives you gives off light. Oh, I could spend hours in here just doing loads of decorating stuff, you know. Just decorate everything. It's so fluid as well. I think I want a mixture of chairs around this table. Different colors as well. Mix it up a little bit. Statues, can't do anything with them. And then special ornaments like Christmas and... Ah, so maybe we could only unlock these maybe through Christmas or stuff like that. But I think we're going to leave this right here. And we've got the room of requirement now. We've learned to one of the forbidden spells. Well, I said forbidden spells, but one of the frowned upon spells. And uh, yeah, check out my other content right here. And as always, I'll see you in another video. Keep smiling and I'll see you then.